The sun is setting, but the lights are coming on. The Type S lights, that's right. This is the Type S gauntlet presented by AutoZone. You can see over here, this That's uh, it's going to be a factory. All right, here we go, Joao Barry on this Monster Energy Corvette. Again, this is uh, hypercritical to get the advantage of this Joao Barry on. Crazy initiation. Wow, where did that come from? That was unbelievable. Great job by Joao Barry on, but look at Thorne. Can't be shaken. Now it looks like he's dialing on in, turning and twisting the screws here, going to that first and only inside clip. And now that final outside zone three. Throwing big angle out. It's going to naturally slow you down with that grip. Comes unwound. Oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> Here we go! All right, coming down the chute, Robert Thorne initiates into that first outside zone, and there goes Shawow! Wow, wow, wow! Look at that! Into the second outside zone, the big 180 degree turn. Thorne bounces his way across it. You can just see just the ripples there in the outside zone too. Man, look at just the bowl of smoke here in that last outside zone. Wow, very on. He pulls back a little bit, but really impressed. Here it is. Wow, very on gets the win. You can catch that smoke. <laughs> you know all what I mean? American battle. Yeah, it's an all American battle. Ben Hobson, Johnson Hurst. Here we go. Hobson, that pencil. Mustang RTR spec by the D. I know Captain Clutch Kick, the boss man's watching at home. Goes in that first outside zone. There goes Hobson on those NATO tires. Now to that second outside zone. Big 180. And look at that. The Mr. Cool Cadillac just sliding right next to Ben Hobson. Now on that front inside clip transition. Jonathan Hurst comes out of the smoke smiling into that last outside zone. You know, Champ jumps over. I mean, he's he's very talented. It, he's just in a different weapon. Here we go. Jonathan Hurst out in front of that XLR. Cut through the smoke. Ben Hobson now initiates. Here comes Jonathan Hurst. Little yank of that handbrake. Now coming to that killer crossover into that second outside zone. There goes Jonathan Hurst and Ben Hobson. You see pulling up that front left tire. You see how much traction he's getting. There he is right there on the side of that Cadillac. How's he going to manage the smoke? He's bathing in it. He's bathing in the smoke of correction by Ben Hobson. And they're transitioning back and crossing the finish line. One side, two side, and Jonathan Hurst. All right. Two to one. So we advance on Derek Madison, Dimitri Brutsky, Derek Madison. Keep on talking to him. Brand new car, but we'll see if he's got all the power. I know he kept throwing belts in, uh, in practice, so we'll see if... Uh, he said, I got, a, I got a low horsepower tune NA if I uh, can't use the blower. But it looks like it seems to be working out right now. Dmitry Brutsky, as we know, multiple pro spec champion, making the jump to pro this year. And D Match going exactly. He's going bonkers. Well, keep in mind, Dimitri has won the gambler here before, so he knows this track very, very well. You know, Derek Madison coming from St. Louis. Look at that, dragging the wall. And we have for that 3 2 1. He looked like he initiated about the number two wall marker there on the cones or the walls and look at that but d -Mats looks like the belt is holding together right now at least two of the outside zones going to that final inside clip transitioning through and Dimitri settles right in to that final outside zone Dimitri Brutsky gets the victory and it that man some, I don't know, some sort of hydration maybe a rock run. here we go Rudy Hansen up front Daniel Suki back. Rudy initiates. A little like, did you see that little glitch right there as uh, he initiates? Goes into the second outside zone, but Stuki is not reaping the rewards of that. You know, again, oh buddy, that looks, oh man. You talk about, Jacob, how light that vehicle is, and you think it'd just be a little more light and nimble, and then Sobo was talking about how Rudy actually runs the same tire. When he does double duty, he'll run the same 255s. Right? <laughs> well, and, and, and that's just contrary to some of the other Round, but this is something that, that the drivers and it rails agreed on, it impedes. So here we go, Daniel Stuckey out front into that first outside zone. Rudy Hansen knows he needs to throw down here, and we are seeing Stuckey just riding the outside line of outside zone two, and that is where Rudy Hansen, he jumps up to the occasion and rises into that final outside zone. Stuckey, now he's on the outside of that course, but keep in mind, you're on the nose, you're on the brand. Here we go, Daniel Stuckey, looks like Stuckey gets the win. I'm interested to see, you know, do you do you take this as a as a fun one? Do you try something different? Do you just try and lock in your line? I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with this, right? Yeah, I, th I think you go for it like somebody's somebody's chasing you down. 
I think I think that's the strategy there. I mean, obviously, you know, don't go don't go above ten. Maybe do ninety percent. You know, and see how it feels. Because car looks really hoppy right now. Yeah, it's. It's tough. I mean, you can soften the suspension up at this track, which is going to oh, oh, help you. Oh, 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 spicy there. Um, it will help with a few things. But you know, at this point, no. You know, we, we'd love to see him on the box. But look at Andy Haley. He's, yeah. you know, you talk about utilization. The uh, evil motor works. You got to love these guys from Redlands. Redlands, they supported him right there. You can see evil. And that's love backwards, by the way. Oh. Uh, E-V-O-L. They sponsor, yeah, they sponsor uh, Jeff Jones. Yep. So, uh, Again. Hey. hey, there we go. A little and first giving chase. See how the smoke just thickens with the light, right? So Joao hops in. I'm telling you, his ex oh, it comes up a bit short. You saw it grip up and then shoot on in. But look at Hurst firing off. He's a, a dragon of a different sort. Look at that thing. A fire coming from the hood of the Cadillac XR. And then pass that inside clip. Nice, snappy transition. You know, not as much smoke from Joao Varian's vehicle, but you saw that muscle memory and that confidence from Jonathan Hurst. Yep, he knows his course as well. So here we go. Jonathan Hurst now out front, keeping it cool. Mr. Cool in that Cadillac, and you can see that initiation. Joao actually initiated, looked like before Jonathan Hurst, but looks like he might be taking on some body parts. That back right, that back, yeah. Pass the side corner. Joao, he just shucking and jiving all across this course. And there we're seeing Hurst go into that final outside zone and crossing the finish line. So Jonathan Hurst okay. gets the victory. So Brutsky and, and Mike Powell, good to see him back. I know he missed the round. And uh, car looks great. Let's see uh, how it performs. Initiates in that first outside zone. Use all the course. Barely a spread drop on that S15. Brutsky shimmies his way into that second outside zone. But Power looks like he is, the car is very settled. Really well done. Into that final outside zone goes Mike Power. I want to see that overhead view just from the naked eye. Look like he cut kind of the, the outside, or not the outside, but. As Dimitri does have a, a looser, a smoother kind of car setup. All right, here we go, Brusky up front. The BMW initiates. You see that just dropping in that line. Mike Power gets right next to him, rips off that front bumper, both these guys. So that transition. And here we go. So uh, like you said, maybe back it off a little bit, let let some of the line go out there, and then stick it to his door. And there he goes, brings it on home. And Brutski gets the win. All right, so look at Fetty crawling through. Doesn't want another strike, but uh, that might benefit Daniel Stuckey into the first outside zone. Stuckey, again, just not getting all the way out there. Here goes Fetty using all the course. Stuckey now, now gets into the pocket. Tucks in, almost rubbing tires. Past the inside clip. Let's see how they handle it. A lot of front bumpers being ripped off right now. Whoa, a lot of dirt being thrown up. I believe that might have been Stuckey, but uh, we'll have to take a look. Look, another front bumper, what did I just say? So here we go. Let's see the second half of this battle. You can see the G-Force, the throttle there. You can see just going up, and then obviously the miles per hour, the speed. Obviously, he's going faster than 37 miles per hour. But all right, here we go. Transition into that second outside zone. And you can see Stuckey riding the lightning. Good job by him into that inside cliff. And here comes Stuckey in that last outside zone. And looks like that was that was kind of a, a page out of Brutsky's book there. Just get the car in the right places. You don't need to burn up the track. It's not a drag. And there's another bumper. Man, these bumpers. He's like, look, he's like, gosh, dang it. Here we go. Slide him left for Federico Sharifo. Jonathan Hurst, Haley, running down that evil BMW. It's all love, Mr. Wizard, and Jonathan Hurst, Mr. Cool, Cadillac, and look at Haley using all the car. We, oh, we got a little tap tap. Oh boy, the Wizard and Pride of Paducah. Are you kidding me? Come on. Here we go. Hurst out front. Haley in the chase position. Who's going against Perutsky? And Hurst, a lot of handbrake going to that first outside zone. But again, he does have this advantage over Andy Haley. So Hurst, the Mr. Cool Cadillac, keeps on keeping on, 10 to tires. And now transitioning into that final outside zone. Sons the hood, Haley still shimming his way. 
The Pride of Paducah, Jonathan Hurst, gets the victory. Lights extinguish, and Fetty, the time pass lights are on. You can see the throttle there, on throttle, the blue gauge. And there we go, Federico Sharifo. Ooh, looks like he takes out the indicator. That was, that's, uh, again, not an incomplete. Unless he's two tires off on this particular course and the setup. And look at Brutsky, he tucks right into the pocket. Fetty, big angle there. Like you said, fairly equally matched, Jacob. I couldn't agree more just with the, the pace of the car. And look at that, Dimitri. Here we go. Let's go to the other side of it. Dimitri Brutsky out front, Federico Sharifo in the chase. Initiating that first outside zone goes Brutsky, Federico. Bit of a shallower line there at first glance. Now to that second outside zone. You can see Brutsky spilling all of it. Benny falling back. And Brutsky, like I said, turning it up. He knows when, how, and where. The never settle BMW in that last outside zone. And full pull. All right, let's see uh, which way they're going to go. Federico or Dimitri Brutsky going to the finals of our CD Bracket. Dimitri Brutsky. third place in our seating bracket because he is number one out of all these drivers. And there we go. Now Brutsky, you can see applying the pressure of the Mr. Cool Cadillac in the second half. a big angle there firing off. You can see again the weapon just popping and locking through that second zone into that front inside clip. Look at Brutsky. Right to stick it to the door of him. First doesn't get all the way out there. Now they transition past the finish line. Yeah, Andy Hayden will get third place here in our Pro seating bracket, but right now Barutsky is out front on throttle into that first outside zone. Barutsky right there on the course's edge. The Mr. Cool Cadillac jumps right back to the side. Barutsky, oh look at this guy. Oh, rubber, rubber, and it dug in. Oh, that thing just hooked. Probably. You saw that front right just dig in, and Hurst knows who he's going against, and this is why I say maybe save a little on the tank, but that thing just dove in and probably Grab bumper or a bash bars on the front. <laughs> but you see Hurst car just go oh, yeah. brrr, just down. Yeah. Hugs all around for these guys. So again, third place is Andy Haley. And your winner here for our pro seating brackets at E-Town, Dimitri Brutsky gets the win. Brutsky gets the win. The never settle. Essa Autosports. Link Engine Management, BMW, he gets the victory. And with that second place, Mr. Cool, Jonathan Hurst. Jonathan Hurst gets the vic gets second place, excuse me, but he does get the win to advance on into the head-to-head. -head. Jacob Gettins, Jared Dienda, join us tomorrow. We'll be our homegirl, Laurent Nichols. She's going to be out here as well. On behalf of our judges, we got Vernon, Reese Marin, Brian Egger. Of course, thank you to Chris Yule, all the staff sweating it out on the track. It's been a long day, so get some rest because we're going to send it tomorrow. And again, Ryan Sagewell, thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you online, and we'll see you another time.